Hey everyone, it's Donna here, and I just thought I'd turn on the camera while I do this experiment. Um, I have never done um, eco dyeing before, and I love the look of it, and I wanted to give it a shot. I've watched a bunch of YouTube videos. Everybody does it slightly different, so I'm going to you know, try to put elements that I've seen in all the videos. Um, a couple that I watched were Gail Agostinelli and Nick the Booksmith and a few others. Um, I'll put a link down below to some of the ones that I that I watched, but I thought I'd take you along while I did my little experiment um, The papers that I'm going to be using are this Strathmore watercolor uh, 140 pound paper watercolor paper and I'm also going to use some hammer mill premium color copy paper that is 80 pound it's pretty pretty thick paper and it's um, thicker than copy paper so I figured it would withstand this and then I also have some envelopes that I'm gonna um, do as well um, I'm gonna sandwich them in between um, some people use metal plates or um, uh, like chicken wire kind of stuff I don't have any of that so I'm gonna use uh, just some some cardboard to sandwich to make the, the sandwich and then I went out and there this time of year there isn't many flowers around so I bought a bouquet of flowers while I was at the grocery store store shopping this week so some of these flowers are from, from the bouquet and then some plants and a, a couple of flowers from my from my backyard <clears throat> so let's get started um, I'm just gonna quickly create these Here's, I brought some critters in with me too. Um, these sandwiches, I'm going to start with the, the thicker ones. Isn't that beautiful? I'm hoping that makes a beautiful uh, imprint. You know, I think I'll just, I don't know what these are. These were in the bouquet. Just some leaves. Oof, that's really thick. And then. These flowers look really pretty. I'm going to try to squish them out so I get a pretty imprint. This is a different one. I'm going to, I'm going to lay, this, lay this one out. Oops, all the leaves came off. Oh well. Put some I have some greens that I can put in here too. Okay, well, let's leave that one as it is. This is the watercolor paper that I'm that I'm starting with. I'm gonna do this one with all leaves. I have some Spanish moss. I don't know what that's going to do. It's probably not going to leave any kind of color, but it might leave a cool pattern. Lord knows this stuff is everywhere here in Florida. I have some, some dead leaves that I picked up that had a little bit of color to them. Now, let me do a an envelope. I'm gonna open it up so it doesn't. Oh, actually, I'm gonna fold it backwards so that it fits. Spanish moss on top of that too. They're trying to get away. Uh oh, my leaves are, my petals are coming off. 
Let's see. I have some ferns. I have lots of ferns in my backyard. Gosh, I hope this comes out good. This is the last of the watercolor paper. Oh, I didn't put anything inside of that one. That would not have been good. You're probably you're probably screaming at me, Donna. Inside, do the inside. I thought it felt kind of thin. Pushing it down. Um, I'm hoping this leaf makes a nice impression. I just love the shape of it. And this one's actually from my backyard. I hope that does something. see I've got this ginormous sunflower that's gonna be really thick really really thick these are some dead leaves but they actually have a little bit of color in them so I'm hoping that will that will come through the color will come through And that's the last of the watercolor. Mm, I can't make this too thick. My pot is not that deep. I'm using a turkey roaster. Oh, let's do some some rose petals. That should be nice. see what else do I have oh, these came from on my walk this morning from one of my neighbor's yards moss on here also and let's do another envelope I'm turning it around backwards because the water will seal I'm afraid the water will seal that so I don't want that to happen um, let's see I have some Things with berries that were on one of my trees or oh, carnation oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be too thick how about if I get the petals off of it I think that'll be pretty I'm hoping I hope let's put some rose in there too Now we're switching to the copy, <clears throat> the thicker copy paper. Let's 
Okay, where are those? Okay. These are from my backyard. They have these little, they're actually flower buds. They look like berries, but they turn into, turn into flowers. So I'm going to try some of those. There's the rest of them. I know I picked a bunch. Some of these in there with them. All right, let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's do some more ferns. flowers used up. Interesting shaped leaves. There's another one. I am hoping <laughs> that none of this is poisonous. Oh, there's a little critter. None of this is poisonous. I should have looked up what poison ivy and poison oak look like before I started doing this. Um, put some petals on here too. I guess I'll know once I start itching, huh? Alright. Another one. I did it again. I didn't put anything on the inside. Alright, I'm going to put that. And that. Some of these with the berries. Some of these flowers. Oof, my pile is slipping. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to have to, I think, stop here pretty soon. Because my pan is not very deep. Let me use these rose petals up. Well, I'm hoping those make some pretty, pretty color. I can't wait to see how this turns out. Okay, I have all these flowers I need to use. All right, one more and that's it. One more and that's it. Let me use up the rest of these flowers. thing down. See what that does. Mm, let's see. There's another leaf that has some color in it. Oh, 
All right. I'm just going to put it all in here. There's the rest of the flowers. I'm just going to put the leaves to that one. Okay. Close that up. I'm making a big mess here. All right, squish it down as hard as I can. I'm going to put the top cardboard on. And now for the fun part, trying to wrap this up as tightly as I can. And I'm going to use just some, some twine that I have. Oh, God, this is going to be fun. Oopsie. I get little critters running all over my desk now. Probably should have done this outside, but I wouldn't have been able to film it. Alright. Carefully. I'm going to tie this just to secure it, and then I'm going to wrap it, wrap it some more. Trying to pull it really tight. All right, that's about as good as it's going to get, I think. sandwich. It's pressed as tight as I can get it with the twine. Now I have my turkey roaster. Set it in here. I guess I could have put some more layers. Oh well. Next time. Ooh. I have this big concrete brick from my yard, my garden. Well, I don't have a garden. I'm going to lay that on top of it, and now I'm going to fill it with water to cover up um, the bundle. I'm going to put some distilled white vinegar in it, and Gail put in a few drops of red food dye. So I'm going to try that as well, just a couple of drops to see what that does. And then I'm going to go and boil it on my stove with the windows open for at least an hour and a half, maybe two hours, and then let it cool off. And then when I reveal it, I will come back and show you what results I got. So wish me luck. I'll be back soon. Okay, I am back. This cooked for boiled for an hour and a half then I let it sit in the water for about an hour just to cool enough so that I could get it out um, and let it sit out a little bit so that I think it's 
cool enough. Look how dark it is. I'm really worried about how this came out. Um, the only thing I did different, um, some of the tutorials I saw, they put rusty bits in the water. The only thing I could find, this was in my garage. I think it was part of my original fireplace. It's all rusty, so I put that in the water. So I don't know if that made any difference or not. But All right, let's see what we got here. I'm going to keep this twine. Nice grungy twine to use in stuff. I'm really worried this is really dark. Okay. Let's see what we got. That's the cardboard that was, ooh, I see something happened there. It's trash. <gasps> something did happen. Look at that. Ooh, yay. Ooh, very slimy. Yay. This was the, I think this is the watercolor paper, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't that pretty? Love the colors. So I'm going to, I'm going to rinse these off and let them to, to dry and get some more of the yuck, icky, Ooh, slimy. Try not to rip the paper. I'll let most of that come off when it dries. Hmm. Well, this didn't seem to do a whole lot. Mm. Just kind of colorful pattern a little bit. There's the Spanish moss. Oh, that made a nice impression. So there's something going on there. I'm going to have to rinse these off really good. Well, nothing clear, clear impressions, but there's something going on anyway. That first one was really good. Ooh, look at that right there. What did that? Hmm. This is the envelope. Oh, shoot. I just ripped it. I should let that dry. Oh, well, there's a little something going on from those flowers. Oh, that's pretty. That is really cool. Got these three flowers and the Spanish moss. Let's see what happened with the ferns, if anything. Oh, well, there's a little bit of something going on there. Ugh. So these flowers left some, oh, pretty blue. Ugh, this is messy. Gooey, messy. I'll finish cleaning that off. So there's some impressions from the from the ferns. That's good. Hmm. All right, I got something stuck on the back. Well, that didn't do much of anything. Flowers left some nice, light, nice images. I like that right there. Okay, so I'll finish rinsing that one off. This was the flower from my backyard. Ooh, that it turned purple. That's interesting. Oh, I like that. 
pretty. <gasps> oh, that's nice. That was the sunflower. And whatever I had down there. I think I forgot to put something in the middle of this one. I did. Oops, you guys didn't remind me. You didn't yell out enough. Well, on this side is really pretty. And here's the big old sunflower. And it turned purple. There's a gooey mess on the back of that. Nothing really clear, but I love the, you can see the flowers a little bit there. I love the colors. Love the purples. Ooh, okay, these were, were this the rose petals? I think these were the rose petals. Boy, I'm really going to have to rinse those. Because they are not, ooh, that's just goo. I'm going to have to rinse those. But they did leave nice, pretty, pretty blobs of color. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Oh, so far I'm happy. So far I'm liking oh, these envelopes turned out really good. I'm going to let those dry. I don't want to, this is thinner paper. I don't want to rip it again. Look at that. I love that. You've got yellows and greens and purples and almost almost black. Gorgeous. Maybe there's some more rose petals, I think. Oh, they make a gooey mess. Whatever that was. The rose the red rose petals left purple. Hmm. some more ferns here. Oh, that's pretty. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ooh. Oh, we got something going on here. Oh, I like this. <gasps> Look at that. These were the buds. Oh, they left some little... I'll hold it up to the camera in a minute. Oh, no, I like these. I'm going to have to go pick some more of those. It looks like a butterfly there. Oh, those flowers turn out nice. You can see the stem and the flower. And there's one of the little buds, a couple of the buds, the little seed, like little seed buds. Oh. Love that one. Like the back too. More of the ferns. Ferns left a pretty good, pretty good impression. Yeah, look at that. I could just get it up without it in one piece. That would be wonderful, but that's not going to happen. So far, I am happy. I am happy. Not bad for my first attempt. This is another envelope, so got to be careful. No, that's not an envelope. This is the um, photo paper. There's something inside here. I'm trying to lift that up. That's the impression. Wow, that left a good impression. I thought that was a leaf, but it's this leaf over here. Whoops. Wow. It's funny, on this side, it didn't leave any color. On this side, it left kind of a brownish yellow. That's, that's interesting. How one side of the leaf will leave one color and the other side a different color. Mm, I had hoped that one would have left a better impression, but it was a pretty shape. Okay. 
Okay, I like how that one turned out. This is the photo paper. Ooh, look at that side. Ooh. Wow. Oh, I love it. These left a good impression. These left a really good impression. I hope they're not poisonous. <laughs> wow. Look at that one. I love that. This is really, really dark. Like dark purple. Almost. Oof, gooey. Gooey mess. Pretty impression, though. Look at the impression from the flower. I think these were rose petals. Maybe. Maybe not. They're very gooey. I think this is another one that I forgot to put something on the inside. I don't feel anything. Oh, but it's still... Wait a minute. No, that's an impression. Wow. There's nothing on the inside of this one. And look at the... Look at the pattern from the other side. Wow. Awesome. That's awesome. It even works out when I forget to put something. All right. This is an envelope. No, this is the paper. Oof. Look at these bright colors. Deep colors. Oh, those flowers left a nice impression on this one. Oh, we've got green. Wow, look at that. Green and yellow. And kind of a lavender. Wow, look at the colors in that one. These were the flowers from the bouquet. Ugh. Ugh. Ooky. Ooky. Oh, pretty though. Once you get the ook off. Wow. Love this one. Love this one. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. <gasps> Love it. I'm so happy. Oh, that was the last one. Now we're down to the cardboard. Okay, well, I am going to go to the sink and finish rinsing these off and getting all the crud off of them. I'm going to let them dry, and then I will come back at the end of this video and show you the dried the dried papers uh, I am so happy all right I'll be back soon okay I'm back these have dried overnight um, I've also pressed them in between two sheets of parchment paper uh, I'll probably still put some books on it on them to, to lay them flat but I'm just gonna flip through real quick and see uh, so you can see how these turned out when they're dry. This was actually that piece of cardboard that was on top that had, this is the top layer of it that peeled right off. So I decided to keep it and that I like the impressions in there. You've got the envelope. There's a lot of like deep purple and plum in these. This way. That one turned out really pretty. There, the, you can see the flowers in this one. That one, I think this one's my favorite. This one had all the flowers in it. It has some blues and some greens. This is the um, 80 pound paper. See the, the flowers here? Good impression of a leaf there. This one tore a little bit, so I'll probably have to use the, the pieces of that. Here again, the flowers. I don't know what made that so dark. Overall, pretty good impressions. Now, this is the watercolor paper. This is really kind of thick to put in a journal, so as a page, I think I'm going to cut this up and make um, journaling tags out of it, or maybe tuck spots, I don't know. 
I don't know that I would use the watercolor paper again. It's so heavy. That's really pretty there. It almost looks like there's a butterfly sitting on top of the flower. I love how the ferns turned out. There's They left some nice green. Love that. Love that. Not much going on there. There's a nice leaf impression there, but it, and some flowers. Now that was the the batch that I showed. I did a second batch, and in this batch I did um, water, some uh, about a cup of the vinegar, the white vinegar, and I put three bags of black tea in the water. I did not put the rusty bit in on, on this batch. Uh, and this one, I only had a couple of flowers left. These are mostly leaves uh, uh, in this one. So you've got the envelopes. The ferns turned out with, a, with quite a bit of, I don't know if you can see it, but there's green. The ferns did some green. There's some pink in this one for some reason. Nice impressions there. And the ferns again. These are more of the you know, brown tones where this batch was more of the plum, purpley, grayish colors. I had a couple of flowers left. There's a little bit of pink in this one. Not sure what that was from. Lots of nice impressions on that one. And a little bit of green from the fern. Nice impressions there. In the flower, there's a little bit of blue in the where the flowers were. This one has some, some pink in it. Not sure what did the pink. Oh, probably, well, maybe this flower. I don't know. I don't know. This was kind of an evergreen tree that's in my yard. That left some, some really cool impressions. These are some tendrils that were coming off of my, my palm tree in my yard. Now, that, those that I just showed were with the 80-pound paper. I did some with, these last ones are with Hammer Mill 28-pound copy paper. And I'll probably do more, I'll be, these were very, you had to be very careful taking these apart, but these are a good weight for um, journal pages. So I'm probably going to make more with the 28-pound paper. I need to buy some more, I'm almost out. And it made really nice impressions too. I don't know if it was just the leaves that I used on this paper. Look at that pretty leaf there. And the ferns. There's a little bit of pink over here and some green over here. Yeah, I, this was the first one I took apart. I, I obviously was a little bit too rough. I actually didn't rinse these. I just took what I could off of them and then let them dry with any little bits and then those just kind of fell off after they dried. Look at that pretty leaf there. I hate that I tore this one. That one came out good. And this is the last one. So these are my two attempts at eco dyeing. I like how they turned out. I am going to do more. Uh, I'm going to give it a break though. But that's all for, for today. Um, Thanksgiving is tomorrow. I hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving with family and friends. And I will see you again on Saturday. And bye for now.